Hey, this is Don the Idea Guy with another episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast. Today is episode 107. The title of today's sticky is Curious Ticks. The note reads, Be curious about what makes people tick, including yourself. Here's the story behind the sticky. It is good to be curious about other people. To possess this trait is to be considered an excellent conversationalist. You get so good at asking the people you're talking to about their lives and work that people think you're brilliant and you've barely opened your mouth. You've simply allowed them to talk about their favorite subject, themselves. Allowing people to talk about themselves and their lives fosters a personal connection between you. You also learn about the challenges they're facing and that makes it easier for you to find ways to help them. And that's really all that customer service is. It's customer helping. But are you spending enough time helping yourself? While it makes perfect sense to focus on other people, don't forget to allow a little time to focus on yourself. Be curious about what makes you tick, too. Reevaluate your personal motivations for the things you do. For the work you do, for the friends you have, for the hobbies you pursue, and for the habits you indulge. The things that make you tick two or three years ago have likely evolved as you have. You become a different person every few years. You worry about different things, new things make you happy, and you have new interests and desires and new friends. You may have a new job. You may have moved to a new place. You may even have a new family. It only makes sense that you'd have at least a few new things in your life that make you tick. Take a few minutes to think on those things and make note of them in a journal. Revisit them every so often and check their accuracy. Make additions and subtractions as needed. It's a good way to chart your course of personal development. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast. If you'd like to receive a free email alert every time new content is posted, just go to BigYellowSticky.com and click on the Get Sticky link. Once you confirm your email address, you'll get a daily alert That includes a copy of that day's yellow sticky graphic, which is hand-drawn by me on a 3x3 yellow post-it note using a Sharpie marker. Your email will also include a link to the audio track that goes along with that day's sticky, where you get a few extra thoughts about the concept that was shared on the sticky note and a little backstory on the sticky. I like to call it the story behind the sticky, like the one I shared with you in this episode. I'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast, and I hope you'll be here to hear it.